Hey, what's going on everyone? No zoop for you here. And so long and thanks for all the fish. After five plus years of doing this and being a community contributor, I am a CC no more. I know I hear the clapping. I hear the clapping from the people that hate me. And I know there are plenty of you all out there. So uh, you got your way. So give yourselves a collective pat on the back. Job well done. In the end though, you know what? I lose nothing. In fact, I gain time. We got a family. I've got twins. You know, I, I don't need this. I don't rely on this for any income. This isn't my career. This was a hobby. And one I enjoyed, to be honest. I, I really love reaching out to individuals and meeting you all at events and everything else. And, you know, I had fun with it. I had a lot of fun with it for five years or so. Uh, some of you that are seeing this are probably wondering what the hell happened, why I am no longer a CC. Uh, I actually created a very long video explaining everything that happened. So that's going to be at the end of this right here. Uh, and it really just goes into the events that happened and uh, what led to my removal. Um, I didn't name names of key players in that video, but um, since I'm not a CC anymore, <laughs> I don't care. Um, <laughs> really the first individual that I talk about was Arleos, and, uh, he pretty much called into, uh, question my fathering abilities because I, I can't have independent thought and, uh, question things. Um, honestly, I had to check and see if Arleos even still was a CC. Um, the second individual I'm talking about, obviously, Flammu, you all can figure that out, I mean, I mean, who else in this community is so good at manufacturing drama and... You know, he found his moment and he seized on it. Um, you know, posted some stuff without context, didn't care about the context, knew what he was doing. I, I mean, I gotta, I gotta tip my hat to you, Flamu. You, um, you are a master at what you do. I mean, truly, truly a master. Um, and it also shows that you still hold a lot of sway, as do your followers, uh, which I, I think Wargaming is more afraid of than being afraid of you, so... Um, I, I know you're probably smiling hearing this and knowing this fact, but, you know, facts are facts, and, eh, I don't care. I, I really don't, you know, it, it, I find it odd someone so big goes after someone that's a little smaller, but, eh, you know what, drama's drama, and it gets the clicks, and, uh, people know that. And then the last person I mentioned that, um, you know, was involved with this, and, you know... <laughs> I chase, I gotta give it to him. He, he always sniffs around when he smells controversy too, and you know, he did a really great job of, uh, you know, forwarding this uh, and uh, making it go further, and um, yeah, those are three key individuals that kind of got this to the uh, uh, attention of many individuals. Um, you know, I, I make no bones about what I post, um, but my Twitter is my Twitter. It's never been really connected to my CC, other than the fact that I am a CC, so um, it is what it is. I will say after all of this, um, I, I will miss, I guess, uh, meeting with many of you. I, I've enjoyed meeting many of you at the events Wargaming has held. Um, I, I've really enjoyed it over the past five years, and uh, I, I think I'm at a point, though, where I've accomplished everything I wanted to. You know, I, I reached an amount of followers I never thought I would um, for just having this as a hobby. So I'm, I'm proud of everything I did. And there's plenty of uh, tutorials out there I did that are still helping people. So I, I really have nothing to be ashamed of. Again, this, this is not my lifeblood. It was always something to get me through to the next big thing. And the next big thing is my family, which I have and I'm uh, very happy with. So... As far as what this means for me and my future on YouTube, you know, maybe, maybe I'll still post uh, World of Warships videos. Obviously, you won't get those reviews. Uh, you probably never will because I'm probably not going to buy these ships that come out anymore. Uh, I mean, why would I after this? I mean, just think about it. Um, <laughs> uh, I was going to post a video tomorrow about the sinking of the Bismarck, a nice cinematic like I did off the, the Battle off Samar. Um, but at this point, I, I just don't have the stomach nor the heart to do it. Might do a little more variety things, uh, some of the cosplay stuff I'm doing, uh, Boba Fett armor that I'm building. Maybe more stuff related to astronomy. I, I don't know. You know, the sky's the limit. Things are open. If you want to stick around, you're more than welcome to stick around. If not, you know, I get it. It's fine. Uh, content creation is cutthroat. I'm going to get to that here in a little bit. 
I will say in uh, closing before the rest of this video that explains exactly what happened in detail. Um, you know, I, I didn't break any of the terms of service we were given as uh, community contributors. You know, nothing that I did uh, went against that. So, so this is a huge slippery slope, you know, saying that someone can't voice their own opinions on social media. I mean... What if someone had found my Facebook page and and disagree with stuff I put there? What if, what if someone found my LinkedIn and didn't like what I do? I I mean, it's a huge slippery slope. So, yeah. Anyhow, I have worked with some really good people with wargaming in the past. You know, going going to the very beginning of this that I owe a lot to, and uh, pretty much uh, it, it is what it is, and I'm fine with that. Oh, one other individual that uh, I need to mention, um, Kingpin, Kingpin, moderator for uh, World of Warships Reddit. If you're a veteran, steer clear from that site. Steer clear because he's no fan of you. You know, you're a war criminal to him, and yeah, he's a moderator for World of Warships Reddit. So just keep that in mind, but. You know, in closing, before the whole incident starts and everything that happened, um, I just want to say thank you all for uh, my supporters for everything you've done in the past five years. Um, you know, if you are upset, if you're disappointed that I am no longer a CC, go feel free to reach out to uh, World of Warships. Let them know what you think. Uh, let them know what you feel. Uh, if you don't like me, I'm sure you've already done that because, uh, you know, you all were, uh, rabble roused in a great way. I mean, I mean, truly it was a wonderful, brilliant death stroke. So, um, yeah, in the meantime, we've got some great, uh, North America CCs that are worth watching. Ones that actually care about you and aren't just using you for views, donations, and money, uh, they're not using you as a means to the end, which a lot of community contributors are doing. You know, if all, if you guys only knew, you know, a bunch of CCs just hate you all. They really do. They, they think the majority of you uh, as a community shouldn't even be playing. I mean, it, it really is kind of sad. Um, but uh, go ahead and watch Sea Raptor, Lord Zath, uh, Sown. Um, you know, those are some great North America CCs right there that love what they're doing and connecting with you all. I, I would recommend, uh, regardless of what I do, please follow them please follow those individuals um, they're remarkable people um, and you probably know Zath and uh, Sea Raptor from King of the Seas um, but th they're truly good individuals that do care about the community and what they do and uh, I feel they're very similar to me uh, they're, they're just smarter than me and that they don't uh, post their opinions openly on Twitter so uh, with that being said once again thank you all for everything um, I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do in the future uh, but before that, here is the rest of what happened. Uh, this is exactly what happened and goes into it uh, in detail. So, uh, enjoy. Hey, what's going on everyone? No Zoop for you here. And, well, this uh, video is going to be interesting, I guess. Uh, I've really been on the fence whether or not I have wanted to make this video. Whether I felt it was necessary. Whether I even want to publish it. So... I'm kind of mulling that right now, and if you're watching this, obviously I decided to publish it, and I, I think for the vast majority of my followers, you all know that I keep politics out of my streams and out of my Warships video, because really there's no place for them. Uh, however, my Twitter, I, I've had for ages, well before I became a community contributor, and it'll be there long after, uh, if I'm no longer one. So... I guess before I get started, if you have no idea what's going on and you want to continue watching everything untainted without knowing anything that happened, if you're unaware of what happened and don't care and you don't want to hear politics or get into it, uh, now's the time to just turn this off and go on your merry way. Because once again, this will be the only time I ever mentioned politics on one of my videos, but... You know, I'm, I'm kind of in a situation now that I have to defend myself, even though I, I don't feel that I have to. But such is the way the internet is, and such is the way that everything is these days, um, that, that I have to. So, um, for those of you out there that know what happened, and really don't care, or you agree with me, or you think it's a non-issue... You know, you can either turn off or you continue uh, to watch and hear my side of things. And for those of you that absolutely hate me and use this as a moment to pounce on me, you know, this isn't going to change your opinion anyway. And, and I know that. And I know there's plenty of you all out there. And that's fine. 
know, that's that's what it's like to be a community contributor. You have people that like you, and you have people that hate you, and they're gonna, they're always going to hate you no matter what. But the problem is when those people are able to start influencing other individuals and their opinions of someone. And that that is why I feel I need to defend myself. Uh, because people deliberately taking things out of context uh, for the sole purpose of trying to hurt someone. So, I, I guess the best way to start this is, I, I'm a highly opinionated person, I always have been, um, but despite that, you know, I, I'm, I'm a very open person. I love getting both sides of the argument, seeing both sides of the argument. Um, I, I respect other people's opinions, I always will, uh, that, that's just the way I am. You know, some people have labeled me some extreme right wing, whatever. I, I'm not. I, I'm mostly middle of the road. You know, uh, socially, uh, you know, I, I respect people's rights to live the way they want. You know, I, I don't care who you are. Uh, I don't care what you do privately, uh, who you love, you know, any of that. I don't care. Um, you know, I'm. Very libertarian leanings, I guess, even though that's kind of gotten a bad rap as of late. Um, I, I'm pretty much just live and let live. You know, I, I have some left-leaning tendencies and some right-leaning tendencies. Uh, I, I guess uh, if you would peg me, I'd say I'm an independent. You know, I form my own political views and I have my own thoughts and beliefs and everything else. So with that disclaimer out of the way... Um, a while back, I made some tweets regarding just some, and you know, once again, veering into territory that some of you might not care about. Uh, I made some tweets regarding some reactions, people that I know, these are people close to me, uh, that have had to the vaccine the, for COVID. I, I'm not anti-vax. Honestly, I, I am very pleased so many people are getting vaccinated right now. You know, it's all about protecting the elderly and everything else. But, having been shot up with so many vaccines myself, and knowing people that have had bad reactions, I tweeted it because I want people to arm themselves with as much information as possible before they make their own informed decision. And this is what it's all about, making an informed decision. Uh, and, you know, having knowledge is a good thing. Especially for those of you out there who have reactions to other vaccines, like the flu shot or anything else. So, you know, I thought that was fairly innocuous. But in today's world, you know, like Sith only dealing in absolutes, you're either for or against something. And if you're anywhere in between, you're labeled as against. So, uh, apparently I'm an anti-vaxxer because I want to warn people of possible side effects, even though I'm not. And this is coming from someone who had his babies just vaccinated yesterday. Uh, for you know, whatever babies get vaccinated for. Measles, mumps, rubella, all that type of stuff. So I thought that was fairly innocuous until another community contributor called out myself and questioned my own parenting abilities because of that, which I thought was just very, very, well, <laughs> reprehensible uh, for one thing. So th that was one of the more mild things that happened, you know, quote-unquote peddling anti-vax stuff, which... I didn't feel that I was doing. The other thing that happened, which was the big incident that absolutely blew up, was I posted two separate tweets uh, regarding my opinions on current events. Uh, one of them involved, <laughs> and, and it, it's kind of funny in a way, because <laughs> the, the quote wasn't even said by who I thought it was, and the photo wasn't even of who it was supposed to be. <laughs> uh, I, I have to laugh at that. So, the quote was supposedly something Hitler said in Mein Kampf, which it wasn't. I, I think someone pointed out it was David Cameron, which is kind of funny. Um, but it was just regarding loss of freedoms and how to take freedoms away from people. And you do it just a little bit at a time and start accepting it. And finally, people uh, accept things and not realize that their freedoms have been taken away. And I, I commented that I had fears that that was happening during the pandemic. And whether you believe that or not, you know, that's your own choice. 
I, I feel that way. That's my opinion. I guess I'm entitled to it. And I've seen things that have happened in other countries, like Scotland doing no-knock uh, uh, arrests on people for having, like, five people in a room. Uh, similar things happening in Canada. Uh, it, I mean, there, there's some crazy stuff going on if you read and watch the news. But, it, you know, it's really not about that. Uh, the, the point is... I used a, uh, a quote that was misattributed to one of the worst tyrants that has ever existed on this planet and a photo of him that, uh, you know, God only knows, maybe it was Charlie Chaplin or Taiki Watiti, uh, I, I don't know, I, I probably didn't pronounce his name right, from Jojo Rabbit, I don't know. But anyhow, that's one of the tweets that just got everyone inflamed. Uh, the second one that happened at the same time was a very, very, very sarcastic, very sarcastic comment uh, regarding um, Jewish people being forced to wear stars. And it, it was just that. It, it was saying, hey, maybe we'll make uh, people that are vaccinated wear them. And that response was to a woman on Twitter who basically wanted to make pariahs of anyone that was unvaccinated, make them social outcasts, make them unable to attend anything, keep them forced inside a house. I, I mean, it, it was completely tongue-in-cheek. It, it was completely okay, you know, and I probably should have said anti-vaxxers or people that aren't vaccinated um, because really having the people that are vaccinated do that would makes no sense at all. But, you know, in the, in the moment, that's what I put. Uh, the people that saw it uh, and liked it understood uh, because the person I was responding to was suggesting some very, very nasty things. Of course, that's not what people saw. People saw only what one very very influential influential member of the warships community decided to post and that was just those two tweets side by side with no context whatsoever and i i guess in this day and age if you post something whether mistri misattributed or not uh regarding someone you apparently like them because i was labeled all sorts of crazy things by um followers of this individual and you know i'm leaving names out of this as i always do um but i mean i'm sure some of you have guessed already and some of you probably already know uh but you know there was no context it was just posted up there um and you know a, a normal adult a normal adult would go to an individual and say hey what exactly did you mean by this but such is the way that content creation is, such is the way that gaming community is, people don't care. They just don't. They look for any ways they can get at people that they feel are either competition, which I'd hardly say I'm competition. I'm nowhere near as big as this individual. Um, but they hate any form of competition. Or they hate any individual that they feel is somewhere that they shouldn't be. And that's exactly what happened here. It didn't matter if what I said was taken out of context. All that mattered was that it could be used as a way to incite the community and turn certain people against me, or at least, you know, the people that already hated me uh, make them hate me even more. And that's all it was. That, that is basically what happened right there. Uh, the individual that reposted all that and blew this up either knew what he was doing and deliberately did it, or, well, I, I imagine that's exactly what it was. Because if you post something that someone says, it doesn't mean you're a follower of them. If you can't see parallels from 1930 that are going on today, that's a perfect example right there. It really is. I, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't spell it out anymore. Not only that, you know, and, and I apologize to anyone out there who might have that might have been offended by the Yellow Star comment. That might have been slightly going too far, but once again, it was very sarcastic. And I have Jewish family members that have said similar things, that are afraid of the same thing. I mean, right now, if you look what's going on in our country, in the United States of America, we have Jewish individuals that are being attacked in places like New York City, Los Angeles... And I fear for my own family members. I sincerely fear for them.
And I fear that the things that happened in 1930 could resurface. So that one post was merely a warning of what could come. What could happen if people don't wake up, if people don't start treating other people with respect? Things only got worse when another CC decided to pile on and apply their own faulty analysis without getting my opinion as well. This individual really hasn't liked me either since I called him out for something a while back in private, mind you, but it, it doesn't matter. That's how this whole thing blew up. And that's my side of it right there. I think it's really sad today that, you know, rather than go to the individual and ask them exactly what they meant, as I had one follower do that was actually pretty pissed, uh, and that was more just because I brought up veteran stuff, um, it, it's sad this is where we're at. And about the veteran stuff, and, I, and I'll explain that too, um, that only, well, first, it, it's no secret that I'm a veteran. I have done a lot of stuff for wargaming regarding, regarding veteran stuff. Uh, I've been interviewed by Military.com for my involvement in wargaming. Uh, I, I was interviewed by Verizon during Fleet Week for my involvement in wargaming. Uh, I've done things for war, uh, Wounded Warrior through that. Uh, I've done things for StackUp.org, raising funds for them for their project. I've done the same thing a while back for uh, other charitable organizations. So, being a veteran is a huge part of who I am. And you are damn straight if someone calls that out, or what I've done in the military, or what anyone else has done in the military. You're damn straight that I'm going to back them up, and I'm going to fight. So, when a moderator, yes, a moderator, for the World of Warships Reddit, says that my father got his ass kicked in Vietnam and says that I just delivered mail for war criminals in Iraq, you're damn straight that I'm going to stand up for myself and for my brethren. Because in the Army, in the military, there are no just positions. Especially if you've served in a combat zone, flying around the country or driving around in convoys. A mortar, a bullet, a rocket doesn't care what your job is overseas. It doesn't. Everyone is at risk. But these people don't care. And that one influential member of the Warships community also decided to use that as well. Which I find to be extremely reprehensible. So, that is why that got brought up. And that's why I defended not just myself, but other veterans out there on that. So, in a nutshell, there you have it. That is exactly what happened. And I, I can't say much more about it. And I, I'm really not going to apologize because I don't feel I need to. Um, you know, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen. May, maybe those of you that hate me and always have for the past five years have found your silver bullet to get rid of me being a CC. I, I don't know. Um, but either way, th that's exactly what happened. I can't say anything more about it. Um, all, all I can say is that for those of you that might want to be content creators, it's a very cutthroat uh, place to be. Uh, there, there is no such thing as uh, people working together or uh, anything like that. Everybody's out to get you, for the most part. It's, it's not 100% true. I mean, there, there are some very good CCs uh, that we have uh, and members of the community that truly do care about the people they work with and want to bring everyone up. But for other people, it, it's all about crushing competition or just other people because they feel they need to do it. And it, it kind of sucks. It's kind of BS, but that's what you sign up for uh, when you sign up for being a CC or any, any kind of content creator. So uh, just be prepared for that if that's what you want to do because that's what you're walking into. And it's, it's really sad when people deliberately do things like that uh, purposely to stir up drama solely because that's what gets the clicks solely because that's what gets the views. That's what they built their community on just being toxic and driving toxicity, uh, regardless of the context, regardless of anything. I, you know, I hate that about the content creation community, but that is not unique to world of warships. That's pretty much across the board, any game you come across for the most part. So it is what it is. But anyhow, that, that is my side to this. Um, 
As I said, there's not much more that I can say about it. This is the only time you're ever going to hear me talk about politics here. Um, I, I really hate talking about it, period. I keep it out of my streams. I keep it out of my videos. It's got no place in either. The opinions on my Twitter page have nothing to do with wargaming. I, I don't even mention in my bio that I'm a World of Warship CC. I stopped doing that a little while ago. Um, maybe maybe I'll just completely eradicate any talk of wargaming or World of Warships on my Twitter feed and just leave it as that. But my Twitter feed is my own. I've always had it. I put my opinions on there. Some people believe them or agree with them. Some people don't. Usually the people I don't, I have really good discussions with. And, you know, we, we might disagree with each other, but we have a mutual respect for each other. I think it's more a problem today where there are plenty of people that can't do that or refuse to. And the world is worse off for that. And that's, that's what I'm going to leave you with. Be open-minded. Get everybody's other side to the story. Just don't be a mindless sheep following whoever tells you uh, that you need to be outraged. Don't follow fake outrage. And that's it. I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.